morning. Welcome to 최수진의 morning special. 여러분 안녕하세요. 8월 5일 월요일 저는 최수진입니다. 주말에 전국 대부분 지역에 폭염 특보가 내려지면서 많은 시민들이 외출을 자제하며 실내에서 더위를 피했습니다. 가마솥 더위에 휴가철까지 겹쳐 서울 도심 거리는 한산했는데요. 여러분은 주말 어떻게 보내셨나요? 휴가를 떠나지 않은 시민들은 집에서 방콕을 하거나 백화점, 쇼핑몰 등으로 실내 피서를 나갔다고 합니다. 또 주말마다 장 봐야 하는데 무더위 때문에 포기했다고 하는 분도 있죠. 네, 여러분 잘 지내셨죠? 일주일 동안 수고해 주신 카렌 그리고 케일린 선생님들 감사합니다. 저는 잠시 휴가를 갔다 왔는데요. 진짜로 there's no place like home이네요. Well, with a week ahead that's forecast to be a very hot one, we should think twice before heading out. And with that in mind, let me give you a quiz question here. Another word we can use to describe hot weather is 1번, scorching, 2번, Searching. 오늘도 청취자 여러분의 많은 참여 기다리고 있습니다. 퀴즈 정답 보내주신 분들 중에 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 고칼슘 쌀룬 두유 보내드리겠습니다. 또 여러분의 소식과 소감 그리고 방송 중 궁금한 질문 있으시면 보내주세요. 짧은 문자 50원 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. 실내 피서 다녀오신 분들 어디 다녀오셨는지도 알려주시면 좋겠네요. Well, let's kick off today's show with today's global headlines. 세계 각국 언론사들의 어떤 헤드라인이 올라왔는지 살펴보는 시간입니다. Touch Global Headlines. The Japanese government has ordered the removal of a statue of peace which has been on display at an international arts festival in central Japan. 일본 최대 국제 예술제에 출품된 평화의 소녀상 기획 전시가 일본 정부의 일방적인 통보로 사흘 만에 중단됐습니다. Thousands of people held a candlelight vigil over the weekend in protest of Japan's economic retaliation. 지난 주말 일본 정부의 경제 보복 조처를 규탄하는 대규모 촛불 집회가 열렸습니다. Following a mass shooting in the U.S. state of Texas, another deadly shooting took place in the state of Ohio over the weekend. 텍사스 주의 대형 쇼핑몰에 이어 오하이오 주에서도 총기 난사 사건이 발생해 미국이 충격에 빠졌습니다. The U.S. is reportedly considering deploying intermediate-range missiles in Asia immediately after it has withdrawn from the INF Treaty with Russia. 러시아와의 중거리 핵 전력 조약을 탈퇴한 미국이 곧바로 중거리 미사일의 아시아 배치를 공식화했습니다. Samsung Electronics and LG Electronics have taken the top spots in most categories in a consumer satisfaction report in the U.S. 삼성전자와 LG전자가 미국의 생활가전 소비자 만족도 평가에서 부문별 1위를 휩쓴 것으로 나타났습니다. Amid an increasing number of Koreans visiting Vietnam, flights to and from the Southeast Asian country are also on the rise. 베트남을 방문하는 관광객이 급증하면서 양국을 오가는 항공편도 빠른 속도로 확충되고 있습니다. Well, the, for the headlines and much, much more, we have Walter Sonsingim in the studio, and I'm back as well. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, yes, Sonsingim. Yes, indeed. Good morning. <laughs> a very, let's say, re-energized yes. good morning. Usually when people go away for a spell, they come back feeling invigorated and mm. re-energized. Is that the case for you? That is exactly the case for me right now. Glad to hear it. Very happy to be back. How have you been, Sonsingim? Well, you know, it was a busy week. Uh, not only yourself, but Ray was away as well. So mm. I was filling in for him on the Saturday. So I had wow. an extremely busy week. But 
People also say a change is as good as a vacation.、Mm -hmm. So I had a change in who was hosting. I had a change in doing Saturday. So I also feel re-energized this morning. Wow, 주칠일방송을하셨네요지난주에선생님 <웃음> 너무너무감사합니다 No problem. 아많은분들이또환영을해주셔서아유이몸둘바를모르겠는데요김진희님이요 Welcome back, 수진쌤조주희님들 Welcome back, 수진쌤휴가를잘보내셨나요저도오늘부터다시출근시작합니다보내주셨고요우리같이화이팅합시다 <웃음> 조소연님은요꺄수진쌤 Welcome back 해주셨어요 The enthusiasm, I'm loving it. Thank you so much. 그번호오사일일쓰시는분이요와수진쌤목소리그리웠어요아이가있으면폭염도필요가없죠그에너지가폭염도이기네요 <웃음> 라고보내주셨습니다아이들은땀을뻘뻘흘리면서그래도잘놀아요 Yeah, sure. 정말신기합니다어른들은땀좀흘리면아유쉬자이러는데아이들은크게없더라고요네공감이되네요많은분들감사합니다 Well,、uh, we'll talk more about how people have been as we go through our messages in just a short while. But first, let's go over our headlines. Headline number one: The Japanese government has ordered the removal of a statue of peace, which has been on display at an international arts festival in central Japan. 일본최대국제예술제에출품된평화의소녀상기획전시가일본정부의일방적인통보로사흘만에중단됐습니다 So this particular arts festival had opened on Thursday. The decision to remove the statue from the festival、uh, came some three days later, and it did come from relatively high up. We had on Saturday Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshihidoe、uh, Suga, and also the governor of the prefecture where. The arts festival is being held. A Mr. Hidaki Omura. They、uh, requested, or actually, they were in charge of starting off the procedure to get the events organizers to shut down the section in which this、uh, statue is placed. There was also the mayor of Nagoya, who also demanded in a letter to the. Uh, festival organizing committee that the statue be removed as well. So we had at three very high levels. Sure. 국제예술제는요아이치트리엔날레라는일본최대의국제예술제입니다여기에출품된평화의소녀상기획전시가말씀드린대로일방적인일본정부의통보로인해서3일만에중단이됐어요그런데전시중단된데에대해서이제일본내에서도반발이본격화되고있다고합니다 So after receiving these letters、uh, demanding that the section be shut down, that indeed is what the organizers did.、Uh, in shutting down that section, they、uh, stated safety concerns、mm -hmm. for the reason behind it, saying that they had received many emails, phone calls, and even faxes threatening public safety at the event. Uh, the section then will be replaced with other exhibits, again, according to、uh, the organizers. And needless to say, the Korean artists involved、um, were very distraught by this news. But even the Japanese artists in Japan are against this move.、Uh, there is a lot of、uh, pushback against the move, indeed, from artists as well as the organizers. The organizers、uh, issued a response. Saying that this is the biggest post-war censorship and historic violence that they have ever seen,、mm. and they are also considering taking legal action against this notification. 네그트리안날레운영위에해당되는실행위원들은요이번사건을전후일본최대의검열사건이될것이다라고비판을하면서전시중단결정에강력히항의하고반대한다고밝혔습니다어뿐만아니라이번에평화의소녀상전시가이제중단된것에대해서아사히신문그리고도쿄신문등일부언론에서는요어제신문일면에이내용을보도했습니다 And of course, the Korean artists, as I mentioned briefly earlier on,、um, have said, you know, even even the artists whose artworks were not、uh, forced to to you know、uh, shut down or.、Yes. To close, they said we will retract from this festival. That's correct. There have been other Korean artists who have withdrawn their、mm -hmm. exhibits from the exhibition as well, and、uh, that could have、uh, further effects as well. So we'll wait to see what happens there. 네그렇습니다이번전시에참여한우리나라작가들도요작품자진철수의사를밝혔습니다박창경작가또임민욱작가트리안넬한모국에다가이메일을보내서작품철수의사를밝힌것으로전해졌고요전시의강제중단결정이난뒤에도그럼에도불구하고이제소녀상을보러많은관람객들이
온종일 이어졌다라는 보도도 있었습니다. 평화의 소녀상이 사실 이제 강제 철거된 거는 이번이 처음은 아니고요. 지난 2012년 도쿄 도림미술관에 이어서 두 번째입니다. Let's go on to our second story, also Japan related. Headline number two: Thousands of people held a candlelight vigil over the weekend in protest of Japan's economic retaliation. 지난 주말 일본 정부의 경제 보복 조처를 규탄하는 대규모 촛불 집회가 열렸습니다. So the headline mentions thousands of people, and uh, indeed that is the case, actually surpassing perhaps even 10,000 people, with most estimates placing the number of people in these demonstrations most recently at 15,000 people there. Uh, that is said to involve some 682 civic groups. Thank you for that. Yes, indeed. And they were protesting primarily out front of the Japanese embassy there, shouting slogans of apologize, also having banners and signs. saying censure the Abe government and regime and to apologize for wartime forced labor. 네, 아베 정권 규탄, 강제징용 사죄하라 등과 같은 배너들을 볼수 있었는데요. 주최 측 추산으로 시민 한 1만 5천 명이 촛불 집회에 참여했다고 합니다. 일본 정부가 앞서 이제 수출 절차 간소화 국가인 이제 화이트리스트 명단에서 한국을 제외했죠. 그래서 일본 정부의 경제 보복 조처를 규탄하는 대규모 촛불 집회가 열린 것인데 지난주 2차 문화재보다 이제 3배 많은 인원이 모였다고 합니다. 월터 선생님 지금 말씀해 주신 대로 한 682개의 단체로 이루어진 시민 행동이 이루어졌고요. 민주노총, 또 한국진보연대, 한국 YMCA 등이 포함되어 있습니다. And according to the organizers, even at least one Japanese civic group also sent its support backing the protest against the Abe government. Uh, in addition, the civic groups here have been holding similar rallies every Saturday since last month when, the, when Japan did impose these uh, toughened regulations on exports. And of course, uh, as we look further afield to this month with August 15th, Liberation Day coming up, mm. uh, one can imagine that there will also be large uh, protests scheduled for that time as well. 네, 말씀해 주신 대로 일본 단체를 포함해서 많은 단체들이 어, 서울 종로구의 주한 일본 대사관 앞에서 이렇게 3차 촛불 문화제를 열었습니다. Moving on, let's go on to our third headline. Following a mass shooting in the U.S. state of Texas, another deadly shooting took place in the state of Ohio over the weekend. 텍사스주의 대형 쇼핑몰에 이어 오하이오주에서도 총기 난사 사건이 발생해 미국이 충격에 빠졌습니다. So the shooting in Ohio came less than 24 hours after the shooting in Texas, and that comes not long after a shooting also in California as well at a food festival. I believe it was a garlic festival. There was a shooting in California where 15 uh, people were injured and several others killed there. But focusing on the more recent attacks mm -hmm. here in Ohio, uh, the attack was said to have uh, injured at least 26 and killed nine. Uh, police say there that the suspect opened fire in what's known as the Oregon District of the city of Dayton, Ohio, at about 1 a.m. on Sunday before being shot and killed himself. 네, 열세 시간 간격으로 벌어진 이두 사건으로 인해서 스물아홉 명이 희생됐고요. 각각의 용의자 가운데 한 명은 숨졌고 또한 명은 검거됐다고 합니다. Now the mayor of the city, the mayor of Dayton there, said that the gunman was wearing body armor, that he was using a high caliber rifle that had additional high capacity magazines. Those are storage for bullets, so it could hold more bullets than say a normal uh, magazine could. And so far police have not uh, given a motive for the attack. 네. 정확한 원인은 아직 밝혀지지 않은 가운데 용의자가 온라인상에 올린 인종차별주의적 내용의 글을 토대로 증오 범죄 가능성이 열려 있다고 하고요. 도널드 트럼프 미국 대통령은 현지 시간 4일 애도의 표시로 백악관을 비롯한 관공서에 조기 개항을 지시했습니다. 그래서 8월 8일 일몰 때까지 모든 미국 대사관, 공사관, 영사관 또 군시설과 군함, 기지를 포함한 해외 시설들에서도 조기를 개항할 것으로 그렇게 전해졌습니다. 
Also, the Texas shooting, of course, there in the city of El Paso, Texas, very close to the border with Mexico, mm-hmm. was said to have left 20 people dead with more than two dozen injured. The 21 year old uh, suspect in this case was arrested and is currently being held there. And he is believed to have posted an online document calling his attack a response to, quote, unquote, the Hispanic invasion of Texas. 네, 이번 두 사건으로 인해서 부상자도 한 50여 명이 된다고 하고요. 말씀해 주신 대로 이제 증오 범죄 가능성을 조사하고 있다고 합니다. And what's different in this case, very often in these shootings, uh, the politicians will be heard saying, offering thoughts and prayers. Mm. But in this case, there has been stronger wording coming from some of the politicians. Uh, Beto O'Rourke, who of course was an El Paso native, said uh, against President Trump's anti-immigrant rhetoric, saying he's an open, avowed racist and is encouraging more racism in this racism. Excuse mm. me, in this country, President Trump did tweet in response to the uh, El Paso attack, saying, uh, calling it an act. of cowardice. 네. 어, 그래서 이, 이딴 총기 난사에 대해서 미국 민주당 대선 주자 일부는요. 텍사스 총격을 백인 우월주의에 의한 테러리즘이다라고 규정을 하고 총기 규제를 강도 높게 요구했습니다. Well, staying in the US, let's go on to headline number 4. The U.S. is reportedly considering deploying intermediate-range missiles in Asia immediately after it has withdrawn from the INF treaty with Russia. 러시아와의 INF 조약을 탈퇴한 미국이 곧바로 중거리 미사일의 아시아 배치를 공식화했습니다. So the United States has been talking about this actually for some time. They've been warning for years that they are being put at a disadvantage, according to them, by China's development of increasingly sophisticated land-based missiles, of course, to which the U.S. could not respond because of the INF treaty with Russia. The United States has also said for some time now that Russia has been violating that treaty, and if Russia is violating the treaty, then they should withdraw from it, and that is finally what happened. And officially on Friday, the United States formally leaving that INF or Intermediate Nuclear Forces Treaty. Mm-hmm. This is obviously not going to make China happy. Russia와의 중거리 핵 전력 조약이죠, INF Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty를 탈퇴한 미국이요. 곧바로 아시아 지역 중거리 미사일 배치를 공식화했습니다. 중국을 겨냥한 것이라고 전문가들은 분석하고 있네요. And since making that announcement, the, the United States is expected to, within the next few weeks, start testing some of its missiles, including uh, in the very short term, in the next few weeks, a test of a ground-launched cruise missile. And then a little bit later in November, the Pentagon will be testing an intermediate-range ballistic missile. Both of these tests would be of conventional weapons, not of nuclear weapons and an official did say that in response to withdrawing from that treaty any deployment of weaponry that had been limited by that treaty would be years away. 네, 중거리 미사일 전력을 둘러싼 미중 갈등이요. 한국을 비롯해서 동북아 안보 지형에 몰고 올 어떤 여파라든지 북미 실무 협상 재개에 미칠 영향에도 이목이 집중되고 있습니다. Let's go on to some other news. We have headline number 5. Samsung Electronics and LG Electronics have taken the top spots in most categories in a consumer satisfaction report in the U.S. 삼성전자와 LG전자가 미국의 생활가전 소비자 만족도 평가에서 부문별 1위를 휩쓴 것으로 나타났습니다. Yes, pretty much a clean sweep here mm. for both LG Electronics and Samsung Electronics in two separate reports. As a matter of fact, the 2019 Kitchen Appliance Satisfaction Survey as well as the 2019 Laundry Appliance Satisfaction Survey Both of those have been running for 14 and 15 years, respectively. Uh, To look at some of the results, LG ranked first in side-by-side refrigerators, French door refrigerators, top mount freezer refrigerators, as well as dishwashers, whereas Samsung came in uh, in first place for freestanding ranges, over-the-range microwaves, front-loading washing machines, top-loading washing machines, as well as closed dryers. Wow, that's a lot of uh, um, home appliances listed there. 삼성전자가 선두에 랭크된 품목은요. 드럼 세탁기, 전자동 세탁기, 건조기, 프리스탠딩 레인지 등이었고요. 지난해 평가에서는 11개 부문 가운데 드럼 세탁기에서만 유일하게 1위를 차지했었는데 올해는 굉장히 놀라운 상승세를 보였습니다. LG전자 같은 경우는 뭐 양문형 냉장고라든지 프렌치도 냉장고 등 냉장고 품목에서 1위를 차지했고요. 식기 세척기도 삼성전자와 
어, 키친에이드 등을 제치고 선두로 올라섰습니다. 이 리스트는 이제 J.D. 파워가 작성한 것인데요. J.D. 파워는 1968년 설립됐어요. 그래서 매해 자동차, 세탁, 주방가전, 헬스케어 등의 소비자 만족, 만족도 조사를 하고 있습니다. Let's check our final headline. Headline number six. Amid an increasing number of Koreans visiting Vietnam, flights to and from the Southeast Asian country are also on the rise. 베트남을 방문하는 관광객이 급증하면서 양국을 오가는 항공편도 빠른 속도로 확충되고 있습니다. Well, yes, indeed. Looking at just the first half of this year, we've seen more than two million uh, visitors from Korea to Vietnam, and that represents a, over a 21% increase from the same period last year. If this trend continues, we're expecting the number of South Korean tourists to visit Vietnam to surpass 4 million for the very first time. 네, 어제 한국관광공사 그리고 베트남 관광청에 따르면은요, 올해 상반기 베트남을 찾은 우리나라 관광객은 207만여 명으로 작년 같은 기간보다 한 21% 증가했다고 합니다. 이런 추세로 계속한다면은 올해 처음으로 400만 명을 돌파할 것으로 추산이 되고 있어요. 또 한국을 찾는 베트남 관광객도 숫자는 이제 비교적 적지만 여전히 빠른 속도로 증가하고 있는 모습이죠. Yes, it's increasing uh, quite a lot actually although 음. the overall number is as you say slightly smaller. Uh, looking at numbers for all of last year we had nearly half a million 457,000 Vietnamese tourists coming into South Korea last year and that was a 41% increase over the previous year 2017. 네, 올해 상반기에만 27만여 명이 우리나라를 찾았습니다. 작년 동기보다 한 30% 증가한 것이고요. 이런 추세대로라면 연말까지 베트남 관광객이 한 50만 명은 무난히 돌파할 것으로 추산된다고 합니다. Lots of reasons, of course. One of those would be the uh, Park Hang Seo magic. Yes, yeah, some people were pointing <laughs> towards that indeed as mm. one of the reasons. And just very quickly, looking at the number of flights, uh, mm -hmm. said to be some 501 weekly round-trip flights. That's an amazing number. That is indeed. 양국을 잇는 직항 항공편이요. 매주 왕복 501편 요구하고 있다고 합니다. Well, those are our headlines for this morning. Let's quickly remind our listeners of the quiz. Yes, indeed. It's short and sweet. Here it is. Another word we can use to describe hot weather is blank. Is that number one, scorching, or number two, searching? 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 고칼슘 살룬 두유 보내드리겠습니다. 노래 듣고 올게요. This is Walter Hamill with The Only One.